Well, hey everyone, how's it going? Sean here with another Genetry Solar video. And in this video, we're going to be looking at this PowerJack 1500 watt low frequency pure sine wave DC to AC inverter. It's a mouthful, but we're going to do an unboxing and a quick look. So this should be fun. So stay tuned. Okay, so before I get into this video, I do want to remind you to head over to GenetrySolar.com. That is where you'll find inverters like this, custom build power jack inverters for reliability, as well as spare parts, replacement parts for your power jack inverter. And I do want to disclaim that my company, Genetry Solar, does in fact contract with PowerJack here in the States for warranty service. However, I am not directly employed by PowerJack. Disclaimer over. So, as of this video, this is actually the smallest low frequency inverter that PowerJack offers. Now, I won't get into all the details as far as low frequency versus high frequency, but the low frequency inverters are generally simpler. They're a little heavier because they do use a Tor Audio Transformer for power jack inverters, and they are better capable of starting hard to start loads such as a refrigerator, air conditioner, etc. So they are the preferred inverter for hard to start items. Not saying that high frequency inverters cannot start those hard to start things, but it is more desirable to have a low frequency inverter. So as of this video, again, this is the smallest power jack inverter that is offered in low frequency. They only offer this particular inverter in 12 volts, that's 12 volts DC to 120 volts AC. Now this is the newest version as of this video, version nine. So yeah, 2019, and it is the most up-to-date inverter that they currently offer. So let's go ahead and unbox this. Some quick specs, it does weigh about 18 pounds shipped, just a little bit lighter than that, the actual inverter. And it's about 18 by 11 by 10 as far as the shipping. Um, the inverter itself is a little bit smaller. So it is rather lightweight, compact, be great for camping, a trip, something else like that. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get started with this. Of course, disclaimer, as I have to, safety, you know the deal. Box cutters are sharp. They can cut anytime uh, you open a box. You gotta be careful you don't cut yourself, hurt yourself, whatever, anything like that. Gotta put that disclaimer on there. Now you may not actually have straps on these. PowerJack just recently started doing this, but some of the inverters for some reason, either the straps come off or they just simply don't have the straps. So who knows, you may or may not actually get the straps with your particular inverter. So we'll go ahead and get rid of these straps, maybe. And we'll cut open the box. Now I found this to be the easiest way to open these up. I've opened up many, many of these inverters okay so the easiest way I found to actually open this inverter or actually get it out of the box I'm gonna set my lazy Susan aside here so you go ahead and take the inverter and you flip it upside down carefully and you just lift the box off now make sure you save this box that is critical for not only returns but also warranty service. If you don't save the box and it gets to me for a warranty repair and it's damaged due to shipping, well, it's likely that they're not going to cover it. So at least for the warranty period, make sure you save the box as well as the foam. You don't have to save the bubble wrap, save the foam. So this one's pretty small, um, it's lightweight. You can just lift the foam off like so. It does come with this uh, instruction manual. Of course, my eyes are up here, guys. Uh, yeah, so it does come with this instruction manual. 
uh, yeah, some of it's kind of difficult to understand. Um, I do have an updated manual if you're interested. You can contact me for that and I can help you out with that. So again, bubble wrap. You want to tip it on the side where the DC connections are so that you don't damage the AC side, which will have all of your plugs and switches. Um, now, you, again, you don't have to save this wrap, so you can just rip it off if you want. The critical part is saving the foam and the box for return and warranty service. Now, it does come with two actually this one has just one they used to have two but now it comes with one it does come with one replacement glass acg fuse again this thing is pretty light uh, right around 15 pounds so not too heavy and this is of course version nine that's what it looks like um powerjack does like this tropical theme on their smaller inverters from their 5000 watt down to their 1500 watt they like this tropical theme even their 8000 watt high frequency inverters have the same tropical theme we'll set this aside so it doesn't get damaged I bring my lazy susan back and there you have it so yeah the bearings on this thing are pretty much going so on the uh let's start with the dc side so on the dc side you have a positive and negative connection here this is your battery connection this is where you're going to connect your battery bank to the inverter itself now it does have an opening here which does have a fan i believe that is an 80 millimeter fan the larger inverters do come with a 120 millimeter fan so let's switch to the side now you might notice this is new for version 9 the 2019 models you'll notice that on the side here they have what looks to be a 60 or 80 millimeter opening here for a fan there are actually no fans on the side here this is a design choice so it is strictly aesthetics you could get a short uh, fan and put in the side here if you really did want to now on the front here of course we have the main AC out connections here you've got two of them now they are labeled as 110 volts however i have always found that that can range between 110 and 120 on these particular inverters uh, you do have your alarm led in case something happens to be going wrong the actual on led that's a green led you have a fan switch here which allows you to turn on and off the fan these do have automatic fan controls however i do prefer to have the fan in the on position even if i have no load this is your glass fuse holder it just unscrews counterclockwise to reveal your glass fuse you may need to replace that if you overload the inverter screw that back in nice and tight and then of course you have your power switch now this is a three position switch on the top you have the power save mode basically for this particular mode the deal is is that uh, the inverter is going to power on for about a second or two and then it's going to shut off if it doesn't detect there's a load that is a wonderful feature for something like a refrigerator that's not going to be running all the time so when the refrigerator wants to kick on obviously as soon as power is applied to the inverter the refrigerator is going to attempt to start the inverter will see that and it will power on the inverter until the refrigerator for example turns off and then this goes back into power save mode and then of course you do have your full time mode this is not the power save mode this is your full time mode where the inverter is going to be on regardless of if you have a load or not so yeah there you have it um, it is pretty compact it is fairly lightweight again just over 15 pounds so perfect for travel uh very inexpensive um yeah you know, in a subsequent video i definitely will be going into more details i will open this up show you the parts i will be doing some load testing with this on camera we'll see what this thing can start we'll see if it can handle 1500 watts we'll see how long it can handle whatever it can handle 
Can it surge to 6,000 watts? Uh, who knows? We'll have to find out. But I will be doing those tests in subsequent videos, so make sure you subscribe. And of course, like this video if you do want to see and stay tuned to that, as well as other videos I do on Power Jack, as well as renewable energy, so on and so forth. So, uh, yeah, be looking for some more videos on this inverter, as well as all other inverters, inverter related, solar, wind, energy, going green, being renewable. It's all great stuff. So, if you have any questions, of course, let me know. The easiest way is to get a hold of me at genitreesolar.com. Um, I receive a lot of messages every single day. Sometimes it's hard to get through all of them. So I try my best to answer everyone and help everyone as best as I possibly can. And uh, yeah, thanks for your support. Thanks for watching and take care.